Now let's look at the post-absorptive state. So the post-absorptive state is three to 18 hours after our meal. So during the post-absorptive state, we're now gonna start relying on stored fuel, fuel that is stored in our organs. So um, we, our blood glucose concentration is gonna start to decrease, and that decrease is going to stimulate alpha cells in the pancreas to secrete the hormone glucagon. Glucagon is going to stimulate the liver to perform glycogenolysis to break down glycogen into individual glucose molecules that the liver will then release into the bloodstream to help bring our blood glucose concentration back up to keep a nice stable blood glucose concentration. Um, and uh, glucagon is also going to be stimulating gluconeogenesis in the liver. So uh, glucagon is going to stimulate us to build more glucose in the liver and then release that glucose out into the bloodstream, again, to bring our blood glucose concentration back up to a nice homeostatic, comfortable level. <clears throat> Pardon me. During this phase, the uh, liver is going to primarily be using fatty acids as fuel. So from there, uh, the liver will, will send glucose out into the bloodstream. That glucose came from glycogenolysis and from gluconeogenesis. The brain is gonna use that glucose as fuel, always hungry. Glucagon is also going to stimulate the adipose tissue. Specifically, glucagon is gonna stimulate lipolysis in the adipose tissue. So remember that lipolysis is when we take a triglyceride and we cleave the fatty acids off of the glycerol backbone. And so glucagon is essentially going to stimulate the adipose tissue to perform lipolysis so that the adipose tissue can release fatty acids into the bloodstream. And that is so we can use fatty acids as fuel. The adipose tissue will also be using fatty acids as fuel in this situation. So those are the fatty acids that have been released into the bloodstream from the adipose tissue. And those fatty acids will be used as fuel by the liver and by the muscle. Now what's going on in the muscle? So the muscle may be doing some glycogenolysis, but remember the muscle's pretty selfish with this glycogen. So if the muscle is um, performing glycogenolysis, then it's gonna be using the glucose itself. Um, otherwise, the muscle will be using fatty acids as fuel. And that is the post-absorptive state. So three to 18 hours post-meal.